this was the hardest decision I ever had to make. It like left me lost like a lot of days where I did I just couldn't make up a decision of what I wanted to do. Uh, I had to talk to people I trusted to the most, LeVar. Uh, I talked to Coach Pride, family, friends, people higher up. A lot of my teammates are like what they thought because I didn't want to leave my teammates at the dry. Uh, I got an unbelievable amount of support from my own teammates telling me to go chase my dreams and take care of my family. And, you know, and then once I got received that type of love and receive uh, receivement from the coaches, I thought I knew it was the best decision for me. And, you know, um, when you just have a son, like, your whole world changes, uh, any, a kid in general, son or girl. And I, I really thought about him because, like, as I was growing up, like I said, I was in Harrisburg, and, like, I never really had much. And now I look at this great opportunity for me to work hard and me to really give him the life that I never had. It's just so hard, hard for me to pass it up on. Like, if my parents could have gave me more, they would have. And now I'm in a great position to really – expand my son's life and give him the education, the life that I just never received growing up. And it, it's just hard to really pass up on. And, you know, even with his health, I want him to come to the games, travel. And what so happens, he gets to cheer me on touching things. You know, kids, they don't know better. He's going to touch and rub it. He, he'll touch the floor and, mm-hmm. or pick up food off the ground and try to eat it. He doesn't know better. But it's just something so, so simple like that that could get him the virus. And then if an infant gets it, that could be deadly, you know? So just really just think about him and uh, where I wanted to go with him. You don't know what it's like until you're in someone's shoes or you don't know what it's like until you're someone's parent. Like they're always going to say, well, why did he let his son? Well, if your son had a potential of having a healthy year and potentially making this amount or, you know, Uh, making sure his family's safe, what would you do? It wouldn't be no question about some people. So I think that's the understanding part. People look at the potential and the outcome of what it's worth, and people understand, or people look at, you know, a more of a selfish way. Well, your team, but when you got unbelievable support from your teammates to do it, it's not like they was like, no, Micah, don't do it. You're leaving us to dry. Everyone was like, go ahead for it, Micah, chase your dream. Because in the end, that's what it's all about. You go to these levels to chase your dream. Like, and you want to reach the highest level. And all my teammates understand I was trying to reach the highest level, and they're, that's where they're trying to go. So, I mean, if you never had dreams, then you would never understand. But if you had dreams, you will always understand that you always bet on yourself and chase your dreams.